Oh, it was busy at Santa's home in the north. And Eeny, the elf, said, It's busy, of course. Eeny lisped, you see, cause his teeth were few. A trip to the dentist was overdue. Busy indeed, for twas summer, you see, and the elves were as busy as they could be. Maybe summertime means play to you, but the elves work hard the whole summer through. Oh, not that they mind, for they love their chores, and there's hammering and sawing behind Santa's doors. Now, Eeny, the elf with the lisp, you know, was sad and lonely. Though he hadn't a foe, he was sad because his teeth were few. And maybe uh, you've had that trouble too? He was lonely because he said things like, of course, when the other elves said, it's busy here in the north. He wanted to say, of course, you see, and words like, yes, as clear as could be. He didn't want to keep saying yes for yes and to call Santa Fanta and say dress for dress. Oh, he was a tailor who worked on dolls' clothes, and they were all in his room, hundreds of rows. Now Santa had promised Eeny the elf that he'd give him new teeth on January 12th. Just wait, said Santa, until I am free. And Eeny said, yes, Santa, yes, sir, I see. Of course, nobody knew, but I'll tell you, little one. Eeny wanted teeth as bright as the sun. He wanted gold teeth that would glitter and glow and shine and shine. Oh, he wanted them so. He saved some of the sunbeams that dropped into his room and were really supposed to be put on a loom. They were meant to be used for the clothes he did so. Oh, sunbeams are useful, didn't you know? Well, maybe this was the reason Eeny was sad. He knew he was wrong, and he'd never been bad. Well, later that year, he was stitching away, and Santa came in and said, Eeny, good day. Good day, Santa, said Eeny the elf, and he looked at the doll Santa put on the shelf. This doll, Santa said, needs help, I fear. She needs to be mended. She's missing an ear. And I want some nice clothes so bright they'll shine, so we'll get to work and fix her up fine. Poor Dolly's been hurt, and she needs something snappy so she can make some little girl happy. Right, nodded Eeny, and Santa smiled and said, fine. And he went out the door that the elf had marked mine. So... Eeny began to make clothes for the doll, and he worked very hard, for by then it was fall. All had to be finished for Christmas Eve. All had to be ready so Santa could leave. The doll got a new ear and a tip on her nose, but she still didn't glow like a beautiful rose. I'll never be pretty, she whispered one day. And Eeny looked from his work and asked, What did you say? I'll never be pretty and no one will care and maybe someone will pull out my hair. Then she told how she had been thrown away. When a little girl grew too old to play. But Fanta will find you a nice new home, said Eeny. And then he reached for a comb, and he combed the doll's hair all smooth and neat, then put tiny slippers on tiny feet. Oh, thank you, Eeny, the doll said with a sigh, and a great fat tear fell from her eye. But no one has loved me, and no one will. And Eeny got cross and said, oh, be still. He told her she'd be loved and told of the things he had made for the dolls of the children of kings. But oh, oh, then he knew what he'd done. He'd made her clothes 
without beams from the sun. Oh, he was sad. Oh, he felt blue. Oh, oh, what a terrible thing to do. He looked outside and, of course, no sun. It was late in the year. Oh, he wanted to run. He wanted to hide in the darkness outside. But he couldn't do that. No, he couldn't go. So he went to the cupboard. Soon he started to sew. He took the hidden sunbeams and sewed row on row, and oh, how lovely the clothes he made. Beautiful clothes of every shade. They shone and they shone. The doll just cried with joy. She turned out to be a beautiful toy. Well, all went well on Santa's trip. Yes, all went well. There wasn't a slip. He found a loving home for Eenie's doll. So Santa's wife gave a party for one and all. And Santa kept his promise, and Eenie's teeth were fixed fine. And they looked just like pearls, like yours and like mine. Eenie kept a part lisp, said things like, Yes, Santa, yes, sir, I see. But he didn't care, for his heart was so light and so free. You see, Eenie was glad he was not a sunbeam thief. Well, he knew he looked silly with golden teeth. And sunbeams are meant to be spread all around to bring joy to others Eenie had found. (laughs) 